After packing everything and getting to Helsinki on the ferry, I started the first part of the trip in Finland. Those first six days were sunny and mostly flat, so I made well over 200 kilometers per day. I started to realize how big of a challenge this is, and as the North Cape came nearer, it got colder and more mountainous. Es geht ganz gut. Die Sonne scheint. Ähm aber ja, es ist, glaube ich, mein natürlicher Zustand, jetzt auf dem Fahrrad zu sitzen, weil beim Laufen tun die bei, also es ist ziemlich schwer zu stehen und zu laufen, aber im Sattel zu sitzen geht irgendwie. Worauf freust du dich am meisten heute? Hm, mal richtig berg hochfahren. Also es sind zwei, glaube ich, richtige Anstiege. The first full day in Norway was amazing. The landscape opened up, it got more mountainous, uh, we saw lots of reindeers and the sun the whole day. We could feel the North Cape coming closer. So I'm only about being 100 kilometers from the North Cape and so um, in the valley like uh, two hours ago it was super warm uh, over 20 degrees sun was shining uh, shorts and everything and then uh, yeah we descended down to the sea and all of a sudden the temperature dropped by like 10 degrees and the wind from the sea is super icy you can uh, yeah feel that it's like the polar sea So today we're going to the North Cape, uh, it's I think 70 kilometers away and yeah, it's a little bit cloudy but yeah, I've got uh, warm stuff on so that's quite exciting um, after eight days to, to reach the North Cape. Gute Fahrt. North Cape Tunnel. It is super loud. <laughs> it is. It went straight down for three kilometers. That goes three straight up at nine percent. Uh, a bit scary. It's like 200 meters under the sea. Yeah, 10 kilometers from the North Cape. This is like the island where it is. There's a lot of uh, steep climbs, but yeah, it looks just amazing. Um, and yeah, it's pretty insane. After 1,500 kilometers in the last seven days, to now be so close to the North Cape, but also so far away from Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I've never been here and I always wanted to come here, so it's really cool to, to come here by bike.
I don't know, a bit, a bit overwhelmed with that. Kind of came really quickly now. After uh, yeah, seven full days of cycling, not really having time to uh, to think about it. So yeah, it's really really cool to be up here. when arriving at the North Cape was one of the most intense I've ever had. This whole thing was mentally incredibly tough to wake up every single morning knowing that the only thing I would do is have to ride all day long. And even though I knew how far Copenhagen was still away at this point, I felt proud of how far I already got. Sehr lang gefahren, wo du hin? Moin, ich bin Jakob. Ich war im Grunde entgegengesetzt. Also ich bin in Trondheim gestartet, habe da ein halbes Jahr studiert und bin jetzt auf dem Weg nach Helsinki. Mit äh, Sack und Pack? Ja, also den Luxus hier mit Begleitfahrzeug <lacht> habe ich leider nicht. Ich schaffe nicht ganz so viel pro Tag, aber es geht trotzdem gut voran. Ja, jetzt geht es in den Nordkap-Tunnel rein. Today was the North Cape day. Yeah, so so really happy about that. And yeah, for the first time the tour, I've got a real tailwind, which is amazing. It is uh, yeah half past uh, seven, so I'm going to ride about one more hour. Then I've got uh, 200 kilometers. Man, this is a really grim tunnel really wet, cold and dark. When I arrived in the evening, most of the times my friends were making dinner already and it was amazing to spend the evening with them after a hard day on the bike. Ich bin 21 Jahre alt und ich studiere Jura. Ich heiße Jan, bin 20 Jahre alt. Ich studiere in Architektur und ich liebe es allgemein, mich durch Kunst auszudrücken. Erstmal finde ich es super spannend zu reisen und dabei ein Projekt zu haben. Ich habe früher schon mal mit Henry ein paar Fahrradtouren gemacht, aber es ist natürlich deutlich angenehmer, ein Auto zu fahren. Weil ich die Natur liebe, aber vor allem auch unterwegs unterschiedlich. Ich habe einfach Lust auf Camping, Fahrradfahren. Es schmeckt. <lacht> mm. The back of my foot really hurt with every pedal stroke. Uh, we tried some decal of uh, and yeah it, it just doesn't i know yeah like with every pedal stroke feels a bit numb um and it hurts and i tried wearing a different shoe that doesn't really work i don't even know if it's just the shoes or if it's just if it's something that i'm doing wrong with my foot tough moment because um, yeah I've had uh, since yesterday I've had that pain in my Achilles Achilles uh, uh, part of my foot in the back here um, it started hurting yesterday I thought it was just like my my foot uh, my shoe pressing a little 
um, onto it. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll just sleep the night and, and it'll be gone uh, the next morning. Yeah, but well, it wasn't gone today in the morning. So after the first four hours today, I took a longer break. And so we decided to, uh, yeah, just do shorter days. So just six hours in total instead of the normal nine. But uh, yeah, now after uh, yeah 45 minutes, I just, it, it just too much pain for me to, to, to ride efficiently. Um, I'm a bit uh, worried, but uh, yeah, I hope it goes away tomorrow morning. Wie fühlst du dich heute? Ja, ziemlich gut. Ja, das ist eigentlich eine Lüge. Ähm, äh, ja, es, es geht. Also die, die, die Beine, glaube ich, werden ganz gut sein, weil ich ja gestern nicht so viel gefahren bin. Ich hoffe einfach, dass es mit der, mit der Sehne gut geht und dass es nicht regnet. It's just a rollercoaster of emotions. Every day pretty much. Uh, between like ah. Oh. My legs hurt and it's just not fun and I don't know, I don't want to do it anymore. And then suddenly there's just like little things that motivate me again. I don't know, like seeing cool mountains in the back or, um, or uh, other cyclists uh, smiling and uh, yeah, waving at each other. Um, maybe a certain uh, song that I hear, my uh, Achilles tendon. It still uh, hurts a lot while riding. It was, uh, yeah, it's also mentally a bit rough to just cycle all day, uh, eat, sleep, wake up, cycle all day, eat, sleep, and so on, um, and not being really able to do anything else. To, to put power down with the right foot. 